<clears throat> Hi, everybody. This is Jeffrey. This is Ripe Color. Uh, this is, oh, hello, Aries. Uh, this is your weekly reading for the week of January 10th through the 17th. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, uh, press the bell for notifications. I always forget something. Uh, I'm offering $30 readings for uh, 30 minute readings for $30. It's easy, 30 30. And I'm offering IET, which is integrated energy therapy, uh, which helps you to move energies. Um, if you like my t shirt, et cetera, my artwork, my scarves, you can go visit my website. Okay. Thanks everyone for your, all your support, especially my regular subscribers and commenters. I appreciate it. And um, I'm having so many Photoshop issues today. I can't even begin to tell you. <sighs> okay, Aries, what is the week ahead looking like? Hmm. Oh, anxious. Is that good? Okay. <laughs> I can't hold the computer and do it at the same time. Okay. The fool, the five, the hermit. Interesting. The fool and the hermit. This is an interesting combo. The fool believes. That's his real energy. The fool is the first card in the deck. So the fool is really about um, beginning anew. It's about high hopes. It's about moving forward. It's about being sort of moving forward with a certain, um, look at this. This hat is never straight. Okay. A certain naivete <clears throat> and an <clears throat> like an idealism, ready to take the leap of faith. Ready to take the leap of faith. And then he's confronted with this loss, this, well, the five is about change. So, you know, uh, I'm gonna start using another deck soon. Um, Cause sometimes the iconography is very dark and it's not necessarily hmm, always accurate, let's say. Um, it's about loss, disappointment, an emotional disappointment. So, you know, maybe you're ready to start anew with somebody that you love or uh, that you loved and you're ready to like go into this new place or maybe your your intention is to go into this new place. And, um, it, you know, initially you're, you get this sense of, of loss. And then we get the inner search, we get the hermit. The hermit's a fascinating card. Um, even though there's not much in iconography, there's a lot behind this card. This is really about going in. It's interesting because, um, I, you know, I, I watch other readers, I watch mostly the uh, political readers. And uh, I don't really watch people who do what I do, but I watch like some of the political readers and uh, there are some incredible readers out there, by the way. Um, this is really about going in. You know, sometimes we're disappointed by people. Most times we're disappointed by people because nobody, nobody ever does exactly what I want them to do, right? Does anyone in your life do exactly what you want them to do? I didn't think so. I don't even do what I, exactly what I want to do. So how am I, you know, how are you going to, you know, and sometimes we have this like pang, this heartache, this uh, disappointment. And I think what the, what the week is about is sort of doing like, like a backtrack and saying, well, it didn't really work out the way I wanted it to, but what did I learn? 
What did I gain? What did, what did work? What can I take from this? You know, what, um, how is my soul enhanced? Sometimes, you know, in hindsight, it's like, you know, I think about a relationship or a situation and initially it feels, you know, not so good. And then when I take a step back, you know, I, I say, well, look at what I learned about myself. Look what I got to offer. Look what I, I was able to receive, you know? So I think there's that, that going on. I think that's what's going on. So um, what can I, um, what treasure can I find? This is about inner treasure, you know, inner knowing, inner guidance. And this is about the relationship with the self. This one, you know, so maybe it's about seeing a situation um, fully, the good and the bad. You know, and sometimes we have an expectation of somebody, right? And they don't give us what we need or it doesn't seem like they did. They, maybe they didn't give us what we wanted, but in fact, you probably did get what you need. So that is my take for the week. Blessings to you if you want a one-on-one. -on -one, all the information is below. And um, hang in there. Hang in there.